OK. Um, so if you guys remember when we talked about, and this is kind of like the one with the homework quiz uh, that we did previously, the main important thing, if we want to solve for this, remember, we want to isolate, get our variable off the bottom. So Michelle, what I want to do is make sure I can get the same base on both sides. But we come into an issue because rewriting 8 and 0.5 with the same base is just not going to work. So what I can do is I can eliminate that base 8 by doing a couple different ways. I can take the log of both sides And again, the base of the logarithm that I'm going to choose is base 8. All right. Therefore, log base 8 of 8 raised to the negative x divided by 2 is just negative x divided by 2 equals log base 8 of 5. Justin, could you go and find a seat over there, please? Thank you. Um, another way you guys could do this is just convert this over to logarithmic form. So therefore, it's log base 8 of 5 equals negative x over 2. Either way, you guys can see I have the exact same equation coming in. Is yes? It, is it 5 or 0.5? It's 0.5. Sorry. So now what I need to do is, and I left my calculator back there so I can borrow Juliana. Thank you very much. All right, so now, ladies and gentlemen, again, we need to solve for x. And we have negative x divided by 2. So to do that, I'm just going to work on 1. I can get rid of this divided by negative 2x by multiplying by negative 2 on both sides. Therefore, my answer is going to be x equals log base 5 over log, actually, let's do ln. doesn't matter what logarithm you use. ln of 5 over ln of 8 times negative, times negative 2. Now you might say, well, why, why did you change that to ln? Because it, when the change of base formula, guys, it doesn't matter what the base is. You can use base 10, which is in your calculator, or you can use ln, which would be base e. But I don't have a calculator that I can choose the base and my value, so I have to apply the change of base rule. And then remember, it's being multiplied by negative 2. So what I'll do is I'll just do ln of 5, then divided by ln of 8 and then multiply that by negative 2. And therefore, x is approximately negative 1.55. OK? Does that help out explain at least what to do for that problem? Okay. So 